I wasn't going to do a video about this because I really didn't care about this girl. This I don't know how old she is, but she looks like a girl to me. Um, but she could very well be over 18. And this board game controversy that she has been wrapped herself up in. I wasn't going to talk about it until I just said, let me go and see what they're talking about. Because a lot of people kept talking about it. And something else just recently came out. And keep those two words in mind as I go forward with this story about her. So in case y'all don't know who this is, this girl's name, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how old she is. Uh, her name is Jojo Siwa. And I don't know if that's her actual name or if that's a stage name. And she's basically like an influencer. She's a singer and entertainer, so to speak. I remember like when I was uh, working at my job, she was actually supposed to come and do a performance, but it was going to be in May of last year. And of course, you know, last year we were still in the midst of the pandemic and quarantine and everything like that. So it didn't happen. But now she's facing controversy because of this board game that she had that came out back in 2018 called Jojo's Juice. And basically, parents got upset because they said it was some very inappropriate things with that game. Now, you can look at her and tell just by how she looks in this picture and how she's dressed that she appeals to a very, very young teenage to preteen, probably even younger than a preteen audience. So, of course, they're going to go out and they're going to buy her products or her parent, their parents are going to buy the products for them or go see her shows. So a lot of people got uh, parents got upset with what was in there. And I heard nudity or questions of nudity was a part of this as well. I'm going to just go ahead and read the article and uh, we'll go from there. YouTube star Jojo Siwa responded to backlash over a children's board game with her name that contains questions she's calling gross and inappropriate. The 17 year old singer, so she is 17, uh, an internet sensation posted a video to her social media accounts Monday night explaining she had no idea what types of questions were included in the playing cards because when companies make these games, they don't run every aspect by me. I kind of don't believe that. Like, why would you put your name on a product that you don't know everything about? Like, who does that? That's not good business. The Nickelodeon branded game, which is marketed to children age six and older. Look at the age it starts at six. According to the box, includes playing cards in its truth the dare category with questions such as have you ever gone outside without underwear? A bathing suit doesn't count. And have you ever been arrested? Now, why are we already asking questions like this to little kids? That sounds like a game that should be made for an older audience. After parents began voicing their concerns about the game on social media, JoJo spoke on spoke out to assure her fans she was really upset about the game's content and was working to remove it from stores. Over the weekend, it has been brought to my attention by my fans and followers on TikTok that my name and my image have been used to promote this board game that has some really inappropriate content, JoJo said in the video. When I first saw this, I was really, really upset at how gross these questions were, so I brought it to Nickelodeon's attention immediately, and since then they have been working to get this game stopped being made and also pulled from all shelves wherever it's being sold. Now, here's the thing. Like I said, the game has been out since 2018. She's 17 now, which means the game had to be out in the market since she was 15. So it's already been out for two years. My thing is, why are they just now... Um. Why are they just now making complaints about this is my question. Not two years. I forgot it's 2021. Three years. So she would have to been 14. I hope you all know that I would have never, ever, ever approved or agreed to be associated with this game if I would have seen these cards before they started selling it, JoJo added. Heather Watson, a mother who bought the game for her young daughter for Christmas, shared photos in the controversial playing cards in a Facebook post Friday saying the game belongs in the trash. After JoJo's response Monday, Watson posted a video on TikTok with her daughter thanking the teen star for taking care of this, adding that the response made her daughter's day. Nickelodeon and Spin Master, which manufactured the game, released a joint statement to CNN on Monday confirming that the game is being pulled from the shelves. We respect and value the relationship JoJo Siwa has with her fans and take the concerns raised regarding the game's jojo's juice very seriously the statement read the game is no longer being manufactured and we have requested that retailers pull any remaining product from the shelves yeah something tells me that she had to have known about this particular game and all its aspects there 
but they, but because people are now pointing it out like how do you how did you not think that they probably thought that the parents wasn't going to pay attention but after all the parents most likely were the ones who bought the game for the kids so they were going to examine it but they probably like oh it's a children's game so we can hide this inappropriate stuff in these kid games and no one will notice and it doesn't surprise me because look at the direction they're going with a lot of children's programming these days and the stuff that they're putting in there i'm not going to go into too much detail about it y'all already know now the other thing that i wanted to talk about which led me to this and i remember i told you at the beginning of the video was keep those words came out in your mind as i'm speaking i'm talking about some about something else but i want you to keep in mind the words came out because when I was looking up about this uh, story right here, this new article came up that was posted today. I'm sorry, yesterday on January 23rd. It is currently January 24th, where Jojo Siwa just came out literally and said that she's a member of the Academy. Now, how convenient is that? How convenient that on January 21st, which is when the first article I just read came out, that people was giving her hell about that board game that two days later she now announces she's in the academy i know exactly what she and her reps are doing they're doing this i don't know if she really is if she isn't if she is oh well but i know why they're doing it they're doing it to give cover to the controversy of that board game backlash See, they figure if we talk about this, it'll get buried. And sure enough, it did. Because if you was to go online right now and type her name in, you wouldn't and just type her name, just her name. You would not see anything related to that board game. You would have to type her name plus board game behind it to find an article about the board game. But if you talk about her and just her name, her saying that she's out and proud is what comes up. Like, she and her people are not slick. I notice a lot of people do that to give cover to something or to get ahead of a controversy or a scandal or to try to bury one that just got started, like what she did with this board game. But I'm going to go ahead and read it. It says Jojo, C Jojo Siwa confirms she is a member of the Academy and she says she's the happiest she's ever been. Jojo Siwa squashed days of speculations that her social media posts hinted at her sexuality. On Saturday, the 17-year-old pop artist posted a 15-minute Instagram live video caption, Happy Girl So So Happy with a rainbow emoji. In the footage, the former Dance Mom star seemed to re relieve to share her news explaining, Now that the world gets to see this out of my life, it makes me really, really happy. I've been happy in this land for a minute now. Well, if she's been that happy for a minute, then why didn't she come out? at that time before the whole thing with the board game that's why i said i look at the whole thing with a side eye you have this controversy right here and two days later you're now you're in it you you announced that you're in academy like i'm not fooled by this we've seen this play out so many times in the media there's always something going on that makes them do this to make them bury a story or to get ahead of a story however siwa is choosing not to label her sexuality oh so she's one of them non-binary people someone asks what label are you i have thought about this and the reason why i'm not ready to say this answer is because i don't really know i think humans are awesome i think humans are in really incredible people and i want to share everything with the world but i also want to keep things in my life private until they're ready to be public well is not so private now because you've announced that you're a part of the academy, but you're trying. <sighs> I swear there is a sector of confused people on the planet. And I'm going to just leave it at that. The news follows days of internet rumors that CY had come out after she posted a TikTok video of herself lip syncing to Lady Gaga's Born This Way, specifically the lyrics No Matter Gay, Straight, or Bi, Lesbian, Transgender Life, I'm On The Right Track, Baby, I Was Born To Survive, followed by an Instagram photo of herself wearing a shirt that read Best Gay Cousin Ever. In the Saturday video, CY referred to the past 48 hours of the world knowing at the best she's experienced and addressed live comments from fans. This is actually a really good question. How long have you been a part of the community? How long have you been whatever you are to which CY answer? I don't know. I think my whole life because my whole life I liked people, but I'd never really fallen in love before. But I always believed that my person was just going to be my person, she said. And if that person happened to be a boy, great. And if that happened to be a girl, great. 
She clarified that her sexual orientation was irrelevant to her November breakup to musician Mark Botempo, whom she began dating in August. People as teenagers break up, you have a boyfriend or you have a girlfriend when you're six years old and you break up with them, you're not with them forever, she said in the video. I was a teenager, I still am a teenager, but I think I'm pretty happy now. How I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty good now. However, the news did not surprise Siwa's parents. According to the singer, her mother has known Siwa's truth for two years now, and there is no shortage of family support. Somebody said, "Don't worry. We know you like. We knew you liked the girls. Thank you. I think you. I think thank you." She said, adding, "I'm the happiest that I have ever been." Listen, she did that to give cover to that controversy. You cannot tell me that wasn't the case because if they knew and if she knew, that's how she was a couple years ago. She could have been came out. If she really wants to. And then when they keep asking her, like, how does she identify and all things like that? Listen to the answers that she gave. It's very vague. It sounds like I said, it sounds like she's doing this to bury the controversy that she's in right now with that board game. And I'm telling you, they're going to harp more on this. Well, not even harp on this, but just, they're going to stick on this rather and turn a blind eye to the controversy that she already has. I guarantee it. I guarantee that. But, I, man, I don't really have any other words. I think I said everything I needed to say, and I don't want to ramble. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure you text the number that is pinned down in the comments below so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video, and I will talk to you in the next one.